guys, my name is Hi. Sabine and today I'm here again with Leora. Well, I would say just introduce yourself again for the people who don't watch all of my videos. Okay, so my name is still Leora and <laughs> well. my YouTube channel is still My Daisies and I make videos in Dutch because we're Dutch. It's also book videos, so it's book reviews and like I make animations as well, so it's really Cool, really I think. Pretty well, I think it's yeah, cool, and I can agree on that. <laughs> but I also make like um, I don't know, like wrap ups and stuff and book hauls. But I also do like fashion videos and thrifting videos and which I love. I also do like inspirational videos mm -hmm. and I do all sorts of stuff. So if you are also Dutch but also English, you can also watch her videos. Just go check yes, out some her channel. Some are subtitled, and I also have a playlist with all my old English videos. You can also binge watch those. But today we're gonna do some. I think at least is really fun because now I finally have the opportunity to do some kind of video of like booktuber does. This it sounds YouTuber. like a, like some like, like some sort of like newspaper heading like booktuber <laughs> dies. <laughs> oh, well, I mean, that was a bit dramatic. Yeah, like, I hope you not. get what I'm trying to say. Yeah. So today Leora is gonna pick, or at least I hope that I will also do this, but she's gonna pick my August TBR, so to be read. What I'm planning on reading for the month of August. But like, how many books do I get to pick? Three, I think. That's Three. A, for me. That's a reasonable number because I'm a super yeah, slow I reader. I read really quickly. She just said to me that she has read. 57 books this year and I did like 14 so I don't know I just really sometimes I get really immersed in a book mm -hmm. and then I read like a lot so like I she read, read just... Eliza and her monsters which I'm not getting it out of the bookshelf it's really stuck in there <laughs> that's a book which is like 380 pages but like 300 and something is like a, a small book it's just, I think normal. That's for me, is that like a normal book size? But it's also contemporary. I don't want to sound like some sort of mad, arrogant overachiever no, no, no. right now, so I'm trying not to. But sometimes I tell people like, oh, I only read four books this month. And I totally don't try to sound mean then. Mm -hmm. And those people are like, oh, but that's kind of like a lot. That's and I'm like, no, lot. when I have a good month, I can read like 12 books. Like, I've my, never had my, that. My best month this year, I read 13 books. <laughs> Some people assume that I've got a lot of time. Yeah, I would assume that with 13 books, that's... It's not. I just read on the train. I sometimes read on my phone and that really makes it mm. go quicker. I don't know why. Yeah. For me, it's definitely... Uh, this is something completely else from the video, but we can discuss it a little bit. When I have a book which is like 500 pages, I already get intimidated and oh, it's really hard for me to kind of push through that. The book that I'm currently reading is Children of Blood and Bone. The copy is so pretty. The Dutch yeah. copy doesn't have a dust cover. Yeah, but that's really a weird. A dust with, jacket. Yeah, a dust jacket. That's yeah. really weird with Dutch copies with their hardcover. They yeah. don't have a dust jacket. It's that's just, times this do. is the cover mostly. Yeah. Um, so it's really pretty. I'm currently reading this one. You've shown that like three times I on your it. channel now. I love <laughs> it. I'm always, when a book has something underneath the dust but jacket. This is really I, beautiful. Yeah, it is. It's gorgeous. So I'm currently reading this one. Um, you've also read it. I hope that I will love it because everyone is talking about this it's super hype and i think it's very important like it's very yeah. important that there are books like this there's not a single white person in this book i love that like we're both white you know we both yeah. have like the white privilege thing so i feel like that kind of sometimes stood in the way and i think of myself as someone who's really trying to be like Mm -hmm. a woke, All inclusive like a woke person yeah, yeah, yeah. but of course i make mistakes come because i come from a very white environment mm -hmm. yeah me too you know i think it's really important that also on booktube you talk about stuff like this mm -hmm. but at the same time kind of half through the book i really had to like start dreading myself to okay. read it because a lot of the people in the book are very angry at everything yeah which i can totally understand but at the same time i don't really connect with that yeah because we are white and privileged it's not, girls it's not yeah. just about the white privilege no. like of course it is but at the same time with the hate you give, I didn't have that. I still also need to read that. I also had is that the characters get introduced so quickly. Mm. They, yeah, that's true. What and I then they is... die, and everyone oh, is- Oh god, shh! <laughs> no, 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 I didn't tell you which No, 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 okay, that's true. And then they die, and you've like barely bonded with them. Yeah, that's-, that's And then you're like, how am I supposed to be grieving right now? Yeah, I don't that's, know. I also don't like that so one. That's some of the that. issues that Okay, I so we shall see what I will think of Children of Blood and Bone. I've heard so many great things about that. I really like the, the issue that they're talking about. Mm -hmm. I really like the fantasy world. I really like the world building. I really like a lot of the characters. I really like Sally as just a person. Yeah. Sally. I yeah, see Sealy, I, I, I don't know how to pronounce it. And I just really like the inventivity of it. We shall see what I will think of that one. So that is definitely... I'm gonna read that. You can pick like a fantasy, contemporary, I like to mix it up a little okay. bit. yeah, good. So maybe we should switch places if you want to choose something from yeah, this yeah, shelf. Have you read this one? No, I haven't. Okay, so I really want you to read this. Made you up by... Because I really yeah. like Francesca Zappia because mm -hmm. I really liked Eliza and the Monsters. Yeah. No, maybe you should read Eliza and the Monsters. I don't know. Okay, but maybe this one or maybe that one. But this book, um, I really like Emma Books. <laughs> oh, yeah. And Emma mm -hmm. Books talks about this She's a lot. Yeah. So I'm really curious about this. But okay, no, no, no. <laughs> Going for... <laughs> that sounded like a fart. <laughs> the, book, the book just farted. That I, I don't even know how. <laughs> That's weird. Listen <laughs> to me. I swear to God. <laughs> 
I will slap you in the face with this. This is Eliza Monsters, and we talked about this in the last video that we really Yeah, but I think about. this one will be up first, so... Whatever. <laughs> you should just read this. It was really good. Yeah. Because it's talking about mental health, but it's also about art and about friendship and about love. And I don't know, it's just, it really got me to tears. I, I love it, it when it I read it in show. like a whopping three and a half hours. I want that, please. <laughs> but I was like reading nonstop. Yeah, I, I, that's probably not gonna happen. And it's me. also just, it's got drawings in it as well, which is just We're really... not seeing anything right now, but okay, I believe you. <laughs> I swear. It wasn't perfect or anything, but the no, no. anxiety representation was very good. Okay. You, you have. I will keep them. I will hold them for me. I got four, right? Yeah. Like, not four big ones. No, please not. <laughs> because then it's definitely not gonna happen. Oh, you've got so much going on. I know, this oh. is my struggle all the time. Okay, have you read this one? No, It's I a haven't. big one. Yeah. I know, but I, I'm planning on reading this too. So, if you read it as well, then mm. we can read it together mm -hmm. and talk about it. Yeah, okay, good so idea. So, I want that. So, this is An Ember in the Ashes by Sabatier. Mm -hmm. I love how you pronounce it, Sabatier. <laughs> I just love, I also love her name, just in general. Like, Sabatier just sounds funny. It sounds so good. It's very satisfying to say. Sabatier. Sabatier. <laughs> yeah, well, they, they probably pronounce it a bit wrong. I don't really get what this book is about. Me really. neither. It's so it's... funny that you also haven't read this one. My friend, Kurina, she is a book blogger, mm. and she had this book and the second book. Oh, yeah. The hard covers as well. And she told me, do you want to maybe buy them from me? Oh, yeah. So I bought them from her for really cheap. And then I was like, okay, I'm going to read this, but I, I didn't read it. Yeah. So I still want to read this. And I took it with me to England to read mm -hmm. it, but then I didn't. Yeah. Because <laughs> I bought, like, I bought, no joke, I bought 20 books in I, England. <laughs> I love that. That's, she's my spirit animal yeah, or something. <laughs> You're mine too. So yeah, I really want to read this. You should read it and then we can gossip about it. Because yeah. I never have anyone to talk about, to talk with about my books. You've got me. But this one was yeah. super popular, I think, in 2016. What I have with books which are super popular is I take, I don't want to read them. It's really weird because then I'm like, oh, I might not too, like it. Too hyped about it. Yeah. yeah I that too I'm really fun. scared that I'm not going to like it. Uh, I really want you to read this one, but this is also like a really big one. Like it's medium. But it's like contemporary. So big contemporaries are easier for me to get through. This is really small, but I don't know. Is this a graphic novel? I've already read that one. Yeah. Read that. Yeah. I really want to read these two. I've read the first one. I want to read these but they're coming out in Dutch as well, so I'm waiting for that. Dutch, I didn't know that. The Dutch covers look really cool. I'm just touching Hermione here. What is this Hermione? Yeah, her wand is a little bit broken though, so... Ron's wand is supposed to be yeah. broken. <laughs> you messed up. I decided it was going to be Hermione. You <laughs> read Adam Silvera? Nope! And no, I really this is a small book. You yeah, this one. I really want to read an LGBTQ plus this book this month. This is history, is all you left me. <laughs> I don't know what to the thumbnail. We take you represent. Woo -woo. Do you have any bisexual person uh, books? Autobiography, The Upside of Unrequited. Because me, as a bisexual, you want to choose some yeah. bisexual books. Mm -hmm. I really want to read this one yeah. as well. So this is a, the third book. Yeah. Have the upside of unrequited. Yeah. Have you read that? No. I okay, don't. you should read this because this is about a bisexual person. Mm -hmm. And I really like this. And it's a bisexual girl, so instead of having a bisexual boy from. And it's also. Whoa, you got it really cheap. <laughs> yeah, I got it at a Dutch book event. Yeah, but you should read this. I yeah. really enjoyed this book. Uh, I read it on my phone as well and I read it really quickly because I don't know, when I have books on my phone, I read them really quickly mm -hmm. and I don't really know. Look at the pages what or, or whatever. Or... I don't know what that is. Because that is, that is my struggle. Whenever I read a book, I, I always look this. like. How many pages have I read within an hour? How many did you do this? That? Yeah, and it's really frustrating because I'm, I'm sorry, such. I just put it back no, it's fine. It's because I'm such a slow reader. That's also a struggle because now I look. Oh my god, how many pages did I read? So I'm just gonna show you guys my TBR, which you picked for me. So first but now of it's all, five books. That's a lot. We shall. See. I think I'm gonna finish three definitely, I but like I'm gonna do my best to read a lot this month. This one is the one that I hopefully will finish first, and I hope in the second week of August I will be able to finish finish this. Children of Blood and Bone. Definitely gonna read that one. Then we have a lot. Liza and Her Monsters by Francesca Zappia. Her name's also really hard to pronounce it's sometimes. It's a hard name. Fran Frances I, don't know. I always say Francesca. I'm very interested in that one because everyone was talking about it last year, plus anxiety representation. Yes. Mm -hmm. I took like all these representation books. No, but that's good. <laughs> I, need to, I need that in my life. But then you picked for me An Ember in the Ashes by Saba Tahir. Again, a super popular read. Yeah, um, I picked that because I also want to read it and then we can read it together. Yeah, and that gives me like extra motivation. Yeah. We have two LGBTQ plus books. So this one is History is All You Left Me by Adam Sol Silvera. He writes like very sad type of books. I haven't read anything from Adam Silvera no, because I'm really sensitive to sad things. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and this is about a dying boyfriend. No. 
Can I pick that for you? <laughs> like an ex-boyfriend who died and then... That's sad. Oh, it's an ex. And that's okay. <laughs> it's not, it's not! The last book that you picked for me is The Upside of Unrequited by Becky Albertalli. So this is about a girl who has so many crushes and she's bisexual. Or maybe and... her friend is bisexual, I don't know. I thought it was her. No, I think her friend or her sister is bisexual. Maybe. Bisexual, but she's also like sort of a very main character okay. in the book, so. It's so good that you picked these all for me because these are books that I would normally not like put on my number one priority list. But that's great because then I read them because I do want- I want to read all of my books. These are all the books that Leora picked for me to read in August. I will do my best to try and read them all, but like I'm I said. so excited for buddy reading some yeah. of his book. <laughs> I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to Leora's channel. Subscribe to my channel. I will leave something here up on the screen or you can click on the subscription button. You guys can also follow us on all of our different social media pages. I will leave links to all of them in the description bar literally, down below. Literally all my social medias are called my deities. So, so it's not hard. For her, it's like really simple. For me, it's, I don't know if it's, it's simple. It's harder for you. <laughs> I think it and is. you don't post on your book Instagram. You know, I don't do it anymore that often. Yeah. I should, maybe. Yeah, you should. <laughs> Again, thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I hope that I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye!